Hey folks, we're out at the uh, Super Chevy show in Pigeon Forge, and uh, I've been waiting all day to shoot this car because I've never seen anything like it. Brother, tell me a little bit about this Camaro. It's a 69 Camaro. It's got a 468 cubic inch big block Chevrolet, uh, twin 68 millimeter turbos, 1471. Makes 14 pounds of boost. Have no clue what horsepower. Never made a pull. Never dined on it. Don't really care. So it's got twin turbos on it. Yeah. Yeah. And a supercharger. That's right. That's and right. nitrous. That's it. What's the nitrous boost you're putting in it? It's just 200 horsepower. Just 200. That's it, yeah. The car was built to be, you look at the car sitting still. If I didn't build a race car, it's right. a show car. It is what it is. You know right. What I'm hey, so you've never taken it and run it out of track or no, anything like that? I don't care to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care to. I just missed a little uh, hole shot you did there. It'll do that, though. Oh, that wasn't nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't think. Yes, it's still cold. I got you. How long have, how long have you had the car? Uh, I've had that car a little over 15 years. No kidding. Yeah. And what possessed you to build a monster like that? Something different. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Did you do it yourself? Yeah, I had help from friends and family, of course. Right. But you know, uh, some of the fabrication, you know, welding and whatnot, I had to sub out. You know what I mean? But right. As far as I wanted this here, that there, and plumbing it all up. Yeah. It was, so, it, so the design the and build, all is yeah, yourself. Yeah. The design, the build. Right. As far as you know. Putting everything together, right? As far as that goes, you know, yeah, I've turned every bolt on the car. I got you. So. Have you been around hot rods all your life? Yeah, yeah, my father, he, yeah, he was everybody. in it too. Yeah, yeah, cool. Not to this extent, but you know, I take stuff to extreme anyway. Well, I mean, who, who does that? Tell me, uh, because people want to know what's the color on the car? It's Porsche red, Porsche red, dark red. Is that a PPG color you're using? No, it's actually a DuPont. DuPont. Chromal base, yeah. That paint job right there is uh, over 10 years old. No kidding. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Man, I, would, I mean, I smoked the car over. I'd have guessed it was just freshly built not New too day. long ago. No, no. Obviously, you trailer and keep it in the garage that's and all, right. but still, yeah. you know, it yeah. doesn't. they usually don't last that long. Well, yeah, I mean, like I say, you, get, you got to keep it real. It's a show car. That's sure. What it is, so. And yeah. what, uh, who did the interior in it? Uh, Michael Vandenberg, so fine upholstery. Okay. In Naples, North Carolina. Okay. Yep, he took care of all that for me, you know. Told him, same thing. Right. I've never just been able to take the car and leave it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want this here, that there. I'll see you tomorrow morning. You right. know what I mean? Right. That type deal, right. You know? So it's not been out of your sight for long. No, no. And the people that I have do these things, you know, they, they understand that. When I bring it to them, I make that very clear. Right. And they have no problems. You know? Cool. And that's why they get repeat business from me. Sure. You know? So you've got more than just this out, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got a 65 Chevy pickup truck. It's got two 671 blowers on it. No kidding. Yeah, yeah just, you know, but it's more of a street deal. I drive it a lot. Don't have to worry about the body so much, that type thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah, cool. Makes a difference. Well, brother, I appreciate you uh, letting me shoot. I'm going to do a walk around down hey. if you don't mind. All right. Time, Thank you so much. Yours. Appreciate it. Yeah. Look at that monster, man. How crazy is that? Twin turbos, supercharged, and nitrous. I mean, you know, hot rodders dream about things like this, but who the heck goes out and builds one? How cool is that? I don't know what to say. You know me, I'm lost for words. Usually I'm talking the whole time the video's going on, but I'll just be honest with you. Uh, what do you say? I mean, yeah, I know there's gonna be people out there and say, yeah, you know what, you can't drive it, it's too this, too that. Listen, haters, we all wish we had a car like this, even if you don't run it down the strip. Let's take a look at this interior, because it's beautiful too. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Look at that, finished in the back, tubbed out, and I love how they finish that out. Two nitrous bottles, beautiful. Roll bar. At least we don't have to look we have to look under the hood because there is no hood. But look at all that plumbing, man.
<laughs> Just get down to it. Yeah. like shooting a beautiful woman you know you just don't want to miss a square inch of it you know it's just man alive look at that without a doubt the craziest car I've ever shot question about it. I just don't want to take my eyes off it. And this one's deserving of it, folks. I'm giving it two walk-arounds. And letting it do the talking for itself. I love how the exhaust comes out the side there. Very cool. So there you go, folks. One crazy Camaro. Like I said, I waited about three hours because it was deep in the show. And uh, gentleman was so nice to be able to pull it down here at the end of the parking lot so we get away from this uh, background music and I could shoot it. So I hope you appreciate what you're looking at because that is just one crazy car. Y'all have a good day. See ya.